Andy pulling in on his brand new CRF 300L. First time bringing it out. What up, geek? Damn! Look how good that bike looks. Ah, he's got some new boots. He's got his kit. Man, that's awesome. That's Jack. Grassy Gap Road, here we go. The last time this CRF 300 brand new L is gonna look this clean. It's muddy up there. All right, Jack, you ready? Yep. All right, there it begins. You learn fast. Yep, there's only one way to learn, that's by doing it. This road and and the road will turn, everything else I haven't. A after that, then I'm, I'm the version two. But this, this is the road where I was like, make sure you got pants that you don't mind getting muddy, because I'm sure we're going to be some in some mud over here. Yeah, it looks awesome. You guys heard that? I got Jack and Andy on today's ride. We're starting off on a road called Grassy Gap. Super excited for Andy. So any of you who watched my previous video, you remember he's the first guy I took on a ride when I bought that CRF 250 rally for buddies to use. And I took him on a long ride almost too long but the good news is, is that the bug the adventure riding bug bit him and he went out and bought a brand new honda crf 300l rally and today is his first day getting it out it's not even broken in i think he's got like 200 miles on it so we're out here enjoying this beautiful weather on a sunday in the north georgia mountains breaking in andy's bike uh, I told both Jack and Andy wear pants that you don't mind getting dirty because uh, a couple of weeks ago I came on this road with Chris and there were, come, there were a couple of sections that were muddy and I kind of wished I had uh, I kind of wish I had uh, filmed it it was a uh, it was a pretty decent muddy pool of water crossing that a guy on a Africa twin was trying to establish how deep it was when we pulled up. I was like, how deep is it? He's like, man, I don't know. He's checking out. I was like, well, there's only one way to find out. And I just put it in first and let it roll. So we made it through. But anyway, I had a lot of fun on this road. And so I was like, man, let me bring the guys up here. Do some exploring through here. Let me keep quiet for a while. You guys enjoy the scenery. Make sure these guys behind me are doing okay. It appears Jeeps like this road too. It's pretty technical for them. So we're gonna watch for two-way traffic. Pace of today's ride is real easy going. Like I said, Jack's still pretty inexperienced. But he's doing awesome and he's got a brand new bike that's not even broken in so we are just gonna take it real easy and enjoy this no rush at all oh and here come the splash pools <laughs> that is one big mud puddle 
So that's the big, that's the big mud puddle I was talking about. How? I guess you can. We can go through the middle. Uh, yeah, let's work out this road, huh? All right. I'm just gonna go through the middle. I think. You'll see. Yeah, you'll see. It's gonna get to my boots. Now we're on regular speed. If I get stuck, you have to come get me. You can always go there if you want. <laughs> go! Yeah, Jack! I don't know about that route. Let's see it. Oh, that looked good, Andy. That was the smart one. What? That was the smart way. Smart? Smart. That was a good way. That was a little deeper than I thought it was going to be. It was deeper than I thought it was going to be. No. It was deeper than I thought it was going to be. Oh, way deeper than I thought it was going to be. My boots are soaked. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're playing in the mud. We are playing in the mud. <laughs> That's funny, I, br I forgot to bring an extra pair of socks and you forgot to bring, <laughs> bring an extra pair of socks. <laughs> uh. Grassy Gap Road. Taking some prisoners right now. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. This would be a fun spot to camp for sure. Could totally just cool off right there. Like you said, it looks like a little like it's like a cool off pond. Yeah. You can look. Yeah. I bet you there's trout. Yeah. So this is the Chattahoochee Forest National. What is it? Chattahoochee Forest National Fitch Hashery. So this is obviously where they do the hatchery viewing hours. Foot traffic only. Cool. Says it can go in. See if I can. Let's go see if we can see some trouts. Oh, look! There we go. The, wow! Look at that. That's amazing. Trout. Wow. Chattahoochee National Fish Hatchery for the trout. Dude, and you check it out, it's so cool. 
full of trout. Baby trout. Full of baby trout. Yeah, full full. Full of baby trout. Yeah, is there fish in here? Yeah. <laughs> like where are there How's it, how's it? We're back. I don't know if you guys remember Andy, those who watched the videos, a couple of videos before. He was my first buddy that were, I brought on a, on a ride when he used my CRF 250 Rally. And that was a long ride, but it kinda, he got the bug. He, the, bike, the bike bug bit him, and he ended up buying himself a brand new CRF Rally 300L. And this was the first trip that he took it on. So we stayed up here in the North Georgia mountains. And uh, you have a good time, buddy? A great time. How are you liking that bike? Beautiful. Greatest bike ever. <laughs> so, Shifts like butter. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, gonna keep this short and sweet. And he's actually gonna, because I have the 250 Rally, um, on the way out of here, I'm gonna ride his bike. I'm gonna do a quick ride review on his bike and see if I can see any differences between, uh, oh, you're messing up the Mado. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Salim. Creating this badass new <laughs> any drink Mado. But anyway, uh, on the way out of here, I'm gonna ride his bike, see what the differences are that uh, they did between the 250 rally and the 300 rally. And uh, other than that, we stayed here at TWO's last night. Awesome night, weather was perfect. And uh, cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. And he's gonna ride my DR650 while I try out this new CRF. 300 L brand new it's only got I think 300 miles on it it's not even broken in uh, as you can see he changed out the bars he's got the fatty pro tapers he's got the acerbus hand guards but other than that it's stock still stock pipe still stock everything else so let's check this sucker out I'm gonna take him through the campground and then we'll do some mountain roads Shout out to my buddies Obi-Wan and DR650. I'll put a link to their YouTube channels in my description. The two guys have been helping me a lot. So shout out to those guys, they're awesome. They got a great, they both got great channels, both really handy with uh, on the mechanic side of things as well and then customizing their DR650. So if you guys need some tips, if you're building out your DR650, definitely check out Doc. 650 and Obi-Wan I'll uh, like I said I'll link their channels down below but here we are I'm just taking Andy for a quick ride through TWL campground showing him what it's all about and uh, let's start to head out to the road this place is awesome all right the little rally Feels just like my 250 as of now. Except it's brand new. That new display is awesome. It's got the gear indicator, which I don't have on mine. It's got a couple of other things, I believe. But let's get this thing out on the road. Oh wow, this thing actually feels super smooth. Oh. I 
11. Wow, this is smooth. Great, uh, great bike.